guys, so back in full roughness today because I have some stuff to test out for you that my face has to still be cleaned for. So all I've got on is primer because today, as you should know by the title, I got in my Foxy Charm. If you can't tell, my mail carrier was super cautious and ripped my box, but thankfully nothing inside of it was damaged, so that's always good. <clears throat> And like always, Hello Charmer, Boxy Charm on the top. Um, for some reason, my box this month did not come with a card to tell me the prices. So I'll try to look those up or see if I can find out how much they were and link those to y'all in the description. But I can't do it during the video. I emailed Boxy Charm. And they probably think I'm crazy because I'm upset for missing a price card. But I really wanted to be able to share that with y'all. <clears throat> right now, I'm already having technical difficulties while I try to show y'all this first product. Uh, while I'm trying to figure this out, this month's box came with six items instead of the usual five. And as always, BoxyCharm is $21 a month, typically for five items. Uh, this month we just got extra lucky and we got six, which is always a huge plus. <clears throat> so since I can't get that off right now, what I'm trying to get is this Perfecting Face Brush by Bare Minerals. It's the one, if you can see, it's got the little uh, dip in the middle where you put your foundation. I'm trying to pull this off, but it's just not agreeing with me and I do not have Bare Minerals foundation. I'm gonna use this with my Kat Von D because that's all I really have. And I'm just gonna hope that it will work with that product. I also got this Studio Makeup Luminous Loose Blush. It's a really pretty pink color. Ignore my ugly nails because it's just a part of things today. <clears throat> And I'm going to wait to show you the last three. Then I got this one. This is not a product that I look for in boxes. Um, if I have a makeup subscription, I want makeup. Sorry about it. This is a good product that I've used sample sizes. It's the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair. It's a conditioning mask for your hair. And it does work really well. I've gotten samples maybe in like my Ipsy or my Sephora Play in the past. And it is a very good product. It's just not something that I would use often. I try to use the same things on my hair all the time because it is so damaged. I don't branch out much. But it is a very good product. So I'm gonna go try to handle my technical difficulty and then I'll be right back. Okay, okay so difficulty handled. I finally got the plastic off and just to give y'all a better look kind of at an angle, it's got this little dip in it. So what I'm gonna do first is just take my Kat Von D and I'm gonna put like a pump in here. Now I've never done my foundation like this, so if it ends up horrible, sorry about it. So you just take it and I'm gonna kinda spread out the foundation first and then go in and buff it all in. And hopefully this turns out really good. I know these stippling brushes are super good for foundation. Um, they give you kind of a more detailed coverage if that makes sense. You don't get as many lines I hear and I see when I watch other people's tutorials. And uh, it just kind of gives you a little bit more of an airbrush finish because you're using a brush. And yes, I have a whole lot on my nose. I have been dealing with breakouts and such, so that is a little rough right now. And I'm going to make sure that I get some on my eyelids because I'm not going to prime them today. Okay. <clears throat> Give me some really good coverage. It's definitely a good brush. 
It's got a good shape to it. It's kind of like a kabuki flat top, but it's just got that little dip so you can put your foundation in there. And I feel like I did get a lot more out of my foundation using that. I was hoping for that brush because I knew I was going to love it. So that's what I really wanted. Next, I'm going to go in. Wait for it. We got a MAC product this month. It is an eyebrow pencil and spiked is what I got. And if I can get the top off without breaking it. Let me see how you spin this out. I know everybody's been having trouble getting these to spin out the right way. Okay, there it goes. So it's just like this at the tip so it's really fun you have to grab it for anyone having troubles grab it at this middle part and twist really hard you can feel like the ridges right here to kind of help you grab it so we're gonna go ahead and try to fill in my brows keeping in mind this is a little dark for me and that I am NOT very good at brows to begin with that is also important so if this turns out bad, not necessarily the product's fault, a lot of the time it is operator error because I am horrible at eyebrows. It's just a very real struggle I go through and I have so many bald spots, I have to like create a whole brow on this side. So a lot of the time it does end up a little sketchier than I would like. <clears throat> because I really have to try to get them even. So there is that one. I do wish this had like a spoolie on the end because I don't have an individual one and I don't feel like going to grab one so I'm not gonna be able to really brush these out. But other than that, this is really good. And I do know for sure, because I've been watching a lot of people's unboxings uh, this retails for, I believe it was $18, which is almost how much you pay for the box. So, I mean, this is 18 I know this is like $20. Um, I think that brush is supposed to be like $25 or something. So, you've like already, you know, almost tripled the value of what you actually spent on the box. Okay, so that's about as close as those are going to get. And I'm not even going to try to close that back up because that is so hard to twist. It does work. It's just really hard to get this to twist up. I don't know. Sometimes things are hard. Part of life. Okay, so the next thing we got. And I'm going to use my Holy Grail brushes for this. Oh, but I need one more. Mmm. Hmm, this one. The next thing we got uh, is the biggest thing in here, and it is the Pure Cosmetics Soiree Dream Diaries. Little well, Soiree Diaries. Um, it is a really pretty neutral palette. I actually opened it up earlier because I am so nosy and needed to see this. I left work to go get the package and come back to open it up to see what I got. Here's the colors. You got mattes on the top two rows and shimmers down here. And uh, I mean, these are just really pretty colors. So <clears throat> I looked at it and kind of toyed with some ideas and decided that I wanted to just try like a really nice smoky look for y'all. So I'm going to go in first with Mogul over here for my transition. And like I said, no eyeshadow primer today. Because I want to see what this palette does on its own. So I'm just going to take this and put it all over my lid. And in my crease, since I didn't put primer on here. And this should hopefully make things a lot easier to blend. Okay, so after a mobile... I'm going to go in with this next shade up, Gala, Gala, 
however you say that. I'm just going to grab it and put it high up in my crease. Since it's a lighter color, I can get away with doing more of it in my crease. And then just move over here and do the same thing and kind of blend it out. But since it's so light, there's not going to be any hard, harsh edges, really. I'm stuttering. Uh, but that's some really good pigment for such a lot of color. <clears throat> Just a little bit of fallout. Then we're going to go in here with Splurge. And we're just going to do the same thing with it. And just take and put it all up here. And I already know exactly what I want to do. And y'all are just going to be like, oh, Flo, you do the same look every time. And yes, BoxyCharm gives me a very similar palette every month. So I do indeed do similar looks. But for me, that gives me kind of a baseline to see how they perform. So if I do similar looks and I see that, say, maybe this one's going to turn out better than last month's did with the Rainforest palette, well, that's cool. Then I know that if I want to go for this beautiful, spoky brown look, I'm going to grab for this one more often. <clears throat> okay. So now I'm going to reach in here for Snazzy. And I like that just because I like the name. Even if I didn't like the color, I would like the name. But this is a really deep chocolate color. So I'm going to be a little more gentle with it. And I'm just going to go in a little lower in my crease. Like right through here. And try to get this kind of the deep smoky part. It's going to go right here. So we're just going to put that in there, try to blend it together, grab a little more. This is really pigmented though, like I like Pure Cosmetics and I already knew that before BoxyCharm started giving us their stuff. This is super pigmented. I've never really just tried their eyeshadows until now, but they are definitely worthy. I don't know that this is a palette that I would buy and that is something that I adore about BoxyCharm is I get to try stuff that otherwise I might not have tried because it's not necessarily right up my alley. So let's just get a little bit more of this over here. That looks pretty good. Okay. So now, um, the last thing for my crease is I'm going to pick up Epic. It's just a teeny bit darker, not really darker, it's like deeper. And I'm going to put that just in my outer corner to darken that up and bring it down a little. And see if I can blend it out and smoke it a little better. Yeah, that's good. And it does have fallout, like right there you can see just a teeny bit, but it's nothing like dramatic at all. It's just a little bit of fallout, and I mean, if you want your colors to be pigmented, I got bad news for you. If you hate fallout, they're probably going to have fallout. It's just the reality of things. Okay, so now, let's be basic. I'm going to go into this pretty glitter color. That's called Glitzy. It's like a gold glitter. And I'm just going to pick this up on a flat brush and just pack it on. And I actually may just go in with my finger for this shade. Because the brush, it's picking up and it's going, but it's not quite giving me what I want. So... I'm just going to pack that on with my finger and get it right up to that crease. I actually really like this color. It's not like a regular gold. It's kind of like a dark gold and I, I like that. That's a little bit different than some palettes are. 
Okay. And we don't really have like a good inner corner color. There's not really just a lighter color of shimmer in here. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of Twinkle that is right here. It's kind of different and I'm just gonna pop that in my inner corner. Okay, <clears throat> now I'm going to take a different blending brush, I'm, I cleaned these and they still won't come clean, and I'm just going to take a private party over here, and I'm going to sweep that under my brow bone to try to kind of diffuse all this like I do sometimes, just to make sure that my blending is alright. And we're going to use that brush in a minute to get our lower lash line. But what we want to do right now is go ahead and go in with our concealer and just dot that up under here and under there and up here and down the nose. Y'all know the drill. And what I'm actually going to do, because I want to try it for more than one thing, is try this brush with my concealer and see how it works out. And so far, so good. I don't know that it's gonna work real well under my eyes because there's not like a point on it, but we're gonna try and see what it can do up under here. It's not too bad. Definitely needs blended a little bit better. And I'm trying to see how this looks in the viewfinder too, because my lighting is not the best right now. So I'm not really, like in the mirror this looks blended, but when I look at what y'all see, it doesn't look blended at all. But we're going to try to cut this up and get a little bit of a line going straight through here. Ooh, okay. Just like gouge my nose with this brush a little bit. Okay, so that's gonna be my concealer. Now I'm gonna go in with this brush again. And I'm just gonna pick up those shades starting with Gala and sweep them in my lower lash line to really smoke out this look. And this is just going to take a second because I got to go back in with a lot of colors. Now I'm actually thinking because I don't want to go too crazy. I'm probably just going to do Gala and Splurge. And then really lightly use Epic and try to get it as close as I can to my lash line. So I don't want this to be too dramatic. Because like honestly y'all, I'm just about to take this back off and go to sleep. I just got this in and I had to film it and I got so excited and I just couldn't handle my life at all. So... <clears throat> Okay, that's going to be my eye look. And keeping in trend with all of these BoxyCharm products, I'm going to go ahead and use this to contour. We didn't get a contour this month. And this came out of BoxyCharm about three months ago, I think. And I'm going to use contour number two. It's like the medium contour in this palette. And I'm just going to drag a line through here. And to show you just how much I use this palette. I still haven't taken the plastic off the mirror, so that would explain why I looked a little hazy just then. So we're just gonna take this through here. And this isn't like a super dark contour, like I'm really pale, and this medium shade is still just kinda 
not too dark which is good for me but I, I would assume if you were much darker that would be a hassle because you know who wants to build up that many layers of contour okay so just to get that blended out I'm gonna take my crown brush and just do a sweep over it to try to get it a little bit less crazy and a little more blended out as opposed to just so I'm going to straight line on my face <clears throat> and again with my boxy products let me get this off here y'all really should have prepared for this and like took off all this plastic before I started filming I don't know what I was thinking we're going to take this blush and we're going to sift a little out and get it on a Royal and Langnickel brush like so and we're just gonna pop it in here and this is a really pretty color I'm not opposed to loose pigment blushes I think they can be gorgeous I don't really own any but I guess maybe that's why I'm not opposed to them because I've never tried them before Okay, so that's that. It does look a little off for me, but I just don't think I have it blended in quite how it needs to be yet. So let's see if I can blend it a little bit better here. That's better. Okay. <clears throat> So next, because I only have one product left to show y'all, I'm going to go ahead and pop on some highlighter and I'm just going to use my Wet n Wild, this is in Precious Petals I think, and I'm just going to pop some of that right here. Okay. And I'm not going to do winged liner because this video is already super long and I already know I'm going to mess it up. So we're just going to pop on some mascara. So I want to get as close to using like mostly what's in this box as I can. And there was not liner in the box. So no liner. And this is just a uh, Roller Lash by Benefit. And this has been my go-to because I find that a lot of mascaras for me, they just get clumpy. And when I'm ready to take them off, they won't come off. And that is definitely an issue for me. I, I can't have that. And I got a little dot of it over here and I just made it a big dot. Oh no. Okay. So the last thing is a $6 product. I do know how much this is because I have a horrible obsession with them. This is a ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip. It is in the color Mess Around. And it's like a brown color. I'm really pale, so brown colors do tend to look a little strange on me, but we'll see. Not too bad. Uh, this is one of those things that kind of like, it washes me out. I'm pale. So dark lips on me can be a little sketchy. It's kind of hard to decide if I like them or not. But uh, I mean, they're not bad. It's a good formula. It feels good. It's creamy. Um, I think it stays pretty well. Probably not as well as the matte lip. I've never had a satin lip before, so no promises. 
but with all my makeup done it's not that bad so <clears throat> this is all the products I really liked this month I'm even more excited for next month because spoiler alert we're getting a Becca highlighter which is something that never in my life could I afford because $38 for one highlighter is way out of my price range and I really wish it was champagne pop but it's like pro something pop it's one of the pop highlighters and I'm really hoping and praying for the pressed powder because I don't really use liquid highlighters I've actually never used a liquid highlighter so I'm praying for the pressed powder but we will see but that is this month uh, the palette definitely performed really well for me uh, the eyebrow pencil was good a little dark for my brows but not bad the lippy is really comfortable not quite my color but I like it <clears throat> the blush is pretty and this is a great product like I know I said I don't like it but I have used it and it does make my hair feel amazing so this is a really good product and a really good value to get in this box because it's worth $20 and you pay $21 and you still get all this other stuff so basically I think this month was a great box um, if you want to subscribe with my link down there if I have a link I don't know if I have one but I'll put a link down there where you can go okay so my camera cut off it said Florence you've been recording too long so <laughs> this is the look I hope you enjoyed it um, if you have any suggestions or anything you'd like to see or subscriptions you want me to try as always let me know in the comments be sure to subscribe uh, there's buttons everywhere telling you to subscribe right now and I hope y'all have a great day bye guys